Hey golf people, I'm standing outside the PGA Tour Superstore in Tampa. They're opening up a new store giving $30,000 worth of golf equipment away and I just camped outside all night in order to score us something for the channel that I'm going to give away here at the end of the video. I'm gonna share with you what it's like to go through a night camping outside the PGA Tour Superstore. I will say this, it's hard. 2.45 in the morning, it just started raining. My back is killing me right now. It's brutal, it's getting colder. But it's a lot of fun too. Thank you all for coming out. Let's make this the best golf for Christmas we've ever seen in our lives. Right. Cheers. All right, I'm walking into my storage area here because I'm gearing up to go camping tonight. It's a little messy in here, so don't mind that. A lot of golf clubs here in storage right now. We're gonna need a sleeping bag for sure. We'll be needing this tent too. That'll work. I didn't even think about it, but now that I'm here, I think this is perfect. We'll get ourselves a little cooler here. It might just be a very long night outside, but we're gonna go prepared. Getting the cooler stocked with all of the most essential items here. Everything you could possibly need for a camping trip. Yeah, that's about right. All right, I'm here a little early. It's about mm, quarter after four. So first thing was to get the tent set up. Now I've set this tent up many times, never had a problem, but I could not for the life of me get this thing set up. Luckily, one of the guys saw I was in trouble and came to my rescue. Right. I got me some help. That's right. Thank you so much for coming out, man. Of course, of course. <laughs> it's a good community here, the golf community. And uh, we're all gonna help each other tonight. Last one in here, Last finally. One. Oh my gosh. Going up. It's going up. The tent is set, finally. Biggest tent out here for one guy too. This is where we're gonna be living for at least one night. It's pretty roomy in here though. Now that we're all set up, let's go meet the neighbors. What brought you out here, man? Well, to give away some free merch to the first few people in line. I wanna get a new set of irons. Jordans, hopefully some clubs. Let's see what we can get, man. A driver, three wood, four hybrid. Yeah. Um, you know, happy with a wedge, anything. here because there's a bunch of missing chairs and the guys are talking it out we may be moving some chairs out of here the rules state that you cannot leave your post for at least 20 minutes so some people might be getting kicked out we'll see well the group conferred and the verdict was get them out of here those chairs moved out which meant I got to move up a few spots as well so my original plan was not to get here this early in fact I've got a birthday party that I need to be at when I drove by this afternoon I saw all the chairs and I said I've got to set the tent up I was gonna set the tent up and then I was gonna leave and come back. That's not gonna happen. Luckily, I just called my friend Pat and he agreed to come here and stand in for me for an hour while I go to the party and then I'll come back here and camp out. What's up, Pat? Oh. <laughs> you got a tent and everything. Yeah. This is legit. They're giving away $30,000 of their stuff. So the guys in front are definitely getting like a set of irons. We're in like maybe driver putter area right here, I think. Have you ever camped out before yourself? In no capacity whatsoever have I ever camped out. You're seeing Tent City here. Any any interest in camping out? No. <laughs> no. no. I'll make my hour and I'm done. All right, I am just getting back and I've got some supplies with me. There's Patty waiting for me. Look, these guys have cornhole set up already. He didn't leave me nor forsake me. I made it. Thank you, dude. How was it? quite meditative just chilling <laughs> with my own thoughts so i'm learning a lot of stories out here like See, some people actually do this all the time they go to best buy black fridays targets all that sort of things some guys do some of these pga tour superstore openings some guys are just chasing free stuff it's it's interesting kind of subculture i'm getting to know it and uh having a lot of fun because this is a fun loving group beer run beer run what you got what we got miller Light. Guinness miller miller time i'm a little worried drinking too much beer because i don't want to be peeing all night yeah i was peeing all night so this being my first time camping, really had no idea what to expect. I figured I would be bored, and that was the opposite of what happened. We played cornhole, we played beer pong, we did shots. And then it got better when my friends showed up. First, it was Wade bringing me some much needed supplies. What's going on, my man? I'm chilling, this is, this is my uh, lovely abode. Hey, I got some party favors. Oh wow, okay, cool. We do have, I got some oh, Guinness yeah, for you. Dude. So we got That's my videos. boy right there. Then, That's course, my boy right there. Of course, if there's one snack that's a must, Albanese gummy bears, you the, cannot beat them. These are the best gummy bears on planet Earth. Yeah. I guarantee you need this, don't you? 
Oh, this is a lifesaver, dude. This is my, my charger. I was just looking at my battery and I had like 28% and I was like, I'm not getting through the night. <laughs> this is when having good friends comes in very handy. I love it's like, oh, Gabe, you have your tent set up. That's cool. I bet it's all decked out and you open it and like, <laughs> I rolled up sleeping bag and a pillow. That's it. That's it. Nothing okay. else. And with Wade here, it was time for me to take on a little beer pong action. Every time Wade or I made one, it seemed like they made one. It was back and forth the whole way. I heated up late. They got hot late, and then Wade closed it out. Drink, we want to see him drink. Hey, you're not getting out that easy. You got to drink something. Fireball, man. Well done. <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to get really hungry. <laughs> I haven't had any dinner. Dude, where is that food? It's getting late. It's getting hungry. Oh god. I think Chris is here with the pizza. I'm dying. Dying. I got pizza delivered. Please tell me I'm dying, dude. I have not had dinner all night. We got pizza for you in the whole line. Oh yes. What pizza is that for bag? the is let's that play through crew. Look, check this out. I even got I even got you some dessert. Oh, some apple goodness. You're the man. I didn't eat any dinner tonight. Lifesaver, dude. What do you think? Have you ever camped down for anything, Chris? Never. <laughs> I have a friend that swears that uh, it's all like uh, propaganda. People get paid to camp out. Oh, like, yeah? It's real people that camp out having a good time. That midnight pizza run was clutch. And after the last beers were shotgunned, it was time for me to turn in. Ooh. Well, it was a restless night, sleeping on the concrete, rain coming down, getting colder, and even snoring from my neighbors to contend with. All right, it's like 2.45 in the morning, it just started raining. Luckily, I'm under this awning. I think I made the right choice. My back is killing me right now. <laughs> The awning turned out to be a terrible move as it dripped on me all night and I had to resort to adding another layer to the top of the tent. I know that's not exactly how it's supposed to go, but that's the best I can do here at 4.28 in the morning. It's been raining on and off, been a little chilly here. Luckily, my uh, next door neighbor was able to give me a blanket. I would just love, 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 love like 30 more minutes of sleep right now. All right, 624, I did get in about an hour and a half more asleep, so I feel a lot better than I did last time. Oh, you brought the toothbrush. One thing I forgot, oh, yeah. I really I wish I brought one. Remember. So as the sun was rising, we broke camp, packed up, and the PGA Tour Superstore personnel actually came out with donuts and coffee for the crowd. Nourishment. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good morning. Night, Gabe. I just slept a lot worse than you did, I guarantee you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night, so, but we're glad to see you. <laughs> How'd you survive last night? Tell me about last night, man. It's, uh, it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. It was definitely cold. You're dressed a lot better for it than I am. Now, overnight was a little bit slow, but as sunrise broke, more and more people started to show up. The line was a few hundred people deep and there was a buzz in the air as people awaited the announcement of the opening and what the prizes would be for the first few folks going in the store. Here's a list. And once you get up there, try to have an idea of what you might want, right? So if it's, again, not crossed off, it's available for you to get. The official list is out. Good news, I'm in the top 10. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'm in the top 10, so. These guys are ahead of me. What are you going for, driver? What about you, man? Jordans. Jordans? Jordans? <laughs> Driver and Jordans? Johnny? Pancakes. <laughs> so what are you going to do? We're going to go with the Wilson irons. My buddy Sean here is going to go with the Mizuno. Nice. Oh, you're going to love those. Is there a powwow here? I don't know. Oh, no. Look at looking, man. There's all kind of deal making going on. The guy up here is actually trying to buy a better spot. It's crazy. At this point, I'm going to love a driver. I'd love a three wood or a hybrid probably next after that. And they do have one putter up there as well, so we'll see what we get. Wish me luck, guys. All right, they're getting all the employees out. It's ribbon cutting time. This is pretty special. This marks 51 stores on a road to New York. One, two, three. Three! So 
after the guys who had been there for literally three days made their choices, it was finally my turn, and I got the TaylorMade Three Wood, customizable up to three hundred and twenty-nine dollars in value. I was pumped. Now by this time it was absolutely electric. The crowd was excited, and I was not prepared for just how amazing this opening would be. I am pumped. I got the channel of Fairway Wood. Taylor made special order Fairway Wood. $300 worth of credit. Mm, that's great. Woo! You got me some Jordans. How about that, guys? Those are queen. Those are queen. <laughs> this is so cool. Super cool. Super cool. It was worth it. I think it was worth it. I already got a pair of Jordans. I'm super pumped. Yeah, I got the Wilson eyes. Awesome. So, Dan, why was this location important? and you guys have been working on this for a long time. We have, so it's been five years in the making trying to get here to you in the community here in Tampa. This is a pocket of Florida that is growing. There's so many different varieties of golfers that we now get to service here in the community. We're just excited it's here. Final thoughts, it was a great night, absolutely worth it. The store's awesome, it's huge. Anybody who hasn't been to one of these stores definitely has to come to one, for sure. Tampa is getting the latest and greatest. Uh, we, we know that it's gonna serve a great value to the customers that come in here. It's good to meet yeah. you, man. It was yeah, really nice man. to drink some yeah. beers with you. Yeah, and, beers, uh, pizza. We'll do it again yeah. on Black Friday? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks in a bag. Awesome. Guys, that's what it's like to be at a PGA Tour Superstore camp out and see if you score. I enjoyed it, hope you did. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Now guys, if you wanna get entered into the contest, I'm leaving a link down below in the description. Hit that and you'll have a chance to win the three wood that I picked up here at the PGA Tour Superstore. I will notify the winner via email and in the community tab, not the comments. Good luck and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.